Good morning. So last Friday I left off having just started doing the ad measurement failure conditions. Um, so I'll be continuing with that because I think I need just do a couple of bits there. So let's get going. So, where are we? API tests. So what do we do? We tested with um, no value supplied, so it should just fail. Then when an invalid goal ID is supplied, and this is for um, the add measurement uh, endpoint on our little server, little Golang server. So let's test um, a valid goal ID, um, but yeah, what can we do? I right, let's check. Let's check the definitions because there might be um, other conditions here. So we're passing in a goal ID, a token string, a value they taken and notes don't need to test the token string being wrong um oh, i suppose we could well don't need to because we're already testing that with um the login stuff and so on i might skip that for the moment um let's test um that if the goal id is correct but we don't have any value date taken or notes. Um, and then we'll do some testing of their actual values after that. So let's basically just step ahead on one little bit here. So let's basically take, take this stuff here. So I'll test no values given. So up top, we've already got correct member ID. Now we need to enable the goal ID because we're actually going to use it. So here we're passing in goal ID. Um, and we want to pass in a token as well. So we'll steal that from uh, we could do that from ad measurement. So we will need to mock up Well that's already going to be there actually Yeah all we need is this bit here So we'll be doing a select. Oh, no, I do need to do that bit. Sorry. OK. Yeah, I need the rows. I need to change. Yeah, OK. I need to have correct rows returned um, and then do a token string check. That passes. So we'll be replacing that bit there. So we'll take out this bit here. 
So we are expecting a good member ID row to come back. And from that goal, because in in this little term, in this endpoint, we use the goal to find the member ID um, and then validate the token against that. So we're now going to pass in that member ID that we already know um, to get a token string back. And we expect that to match on here. So let's just go grab that from this. Add a comma there, take a comma off there. So it basically should pass to this point here. A token should work and it should be found. But what we are not doing is we're not passing in value um, and all that kind of stuff. So in theory, it should fail um, with um, an APA. Let's check what we've we got. Measurement. This is where it's going to be uh, not failing, I think, when it should. So, in the crate measurement, it's going to struggle because um, we don't have a date. Oh, it might actually. It might pass some. Oh, this is what I talked about last time, isn't it? Yeah. It might actually do a default thing that will look. That will work, but it's kind of just duff data. So it might end up with a date taken. Which is defaulted. To like 1970, which would be interesting. It's probably not something with Go because of the way it defaults the data. It's something difficult to fight, really. If you allow that kind of date, which I kind of do, it's you could potentially have like a long running goal. You could load up data from the past. Let's see. We'll see what happens. I've got a feeling this is going to pass. Well, it's going to fail because I'm not expecting the insert. But I think it's going to try the insert. Yeah. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Got that far. That's interesting. Because the expectations didn't fail. And they come up first. Was that the right line? Seven one nine, yep. Okay. So why? <laughs> why didn't it fail when I expected it to fail? Great. Uh, okay. Let's see what the log says. Uh, 
No, it did. Okay. All right. Okay. It did fail, but it didn't it didn't do the right failure. Why is it not picking up on that failure there then? So if I just put in this, is it going to just carry on then? And do the next one? Is it working? Yeah, so it's passing in. Go on ID, value of zero. A date of 1970, first the first 1970. Uh, blank. Notes, yeah, okay. That's kind of what I expected to happen. I don't think there's a way around that. Because unfortunately, that's all valid data. I guess I could test the JSON. But that would have to be done earlier on in Otto. Mm. Okay, not bothered about that. All right, let's carry on then just doing I'll let it, yeah, I'll do that. I'll let it pass. And then I'll do a next test where I'm actually passing in a date in the future to get a expected failure. Yeah. So I want this. So this is all the stuff from the previous happy path add measurement. So we're going to expect a new measurement ID with a create that and update that to be returned from an insert. Um, now, I do want to make sure the goal ID is there, and then the values, OK, 
can I just... I guess I could just define them as empty. That's a thing, isn't it? If I do that... So I've done that, I haven't done that on... Um, Here we have. Good. Okay. Let's define them. Here. I can just call that value now. Now I do need a mock measurement ID. That's good. So we are expecting the measurement ID with the current date and time. So I'm passing in a goal ID with a blank value. Uh, date taken from the Unix epoch and a blank notes, we expect to commit. So we're kind of doing a happy path here, but for empty values. I'll just come that out for the moment. And we're expecting good results. See what that does. Pass. Okay. Good day. Okay, so it's not actually a failure, failure, but it is something we're expecting to happen. 
if someone just passes in a goal ID and a valid token for that goal, member, and nothing else, then they'll just get duff data basically. But there's nothing we can really do that about that unless we start changing things up to test what's actually given, whether fields are given rather than the values. So I'm going to let that fly for the moment because I want to just get on and test the um, date-based stuff. Uh, so we basically want that. I'll take it all. Date taken in the future. Let's do test future date taken. A bit shorter. Okay, so rows. Expect validation there to be okay. We don't care about that. We really got that to find value. We don't care about. It's the date taken we do. And we don't care about notes either. So date taken is what we've got to change. So that would be um, time dot now uh, UTC dot add It doesn't matter what it is, is it? Time dot um, hour. Does that work? Is that a duration? Yes. Ah, uh, no, an hour could be okay because we're going to be rounding down to the current day. So we need to Can I do is there a longer day? Let's do uh, is that month or anything? No. Let's just do an hour times 24 then. So even if it's just a day ahead, based on the UTC, and it has to be a Time stamp. It's all right. No.
Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Right, get a time, but then obviously just put a timestamp in the JSON. That's fine. Okay. So if I do supply, now let's just go grab syntax from here. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're making it um, just making it like a decimal version to be sure. Right, take off the comma. Right, so all we're supplying now is a valid goal ID with its token and a date taken, but it's in the future. As opposed to the happy path where um, do dates like today and yesterday and so on. So is that going to be correct? We've got just a day ahead. Yeah. So now we expect failure. So let's grab this stuff. And so what's the error going to be? Measurement date taken should not be in the future. That's fine. See if that works. Take that out in a minute. I'll leave it for a sec. Nope. Hmm. There is a remaining expectation which was not matched. Expect to begin. Expecting database transaction begin. Seven seven seven. No way. Okay, let's log that, see what's going on. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm expecting a failure. Right, so... Yeah, I need to not. Yeah, that's a bit silly there. I should not have that before the values are defined because. It might not happen. So. That's fine for that bit. So down here, we. Basically, don't expect a transaction. Do not expect insert. Do not expect commit. Pass. 
good stuff. Okay. Let's just quickly test um Can I just do minus the So in theory I'm passing in a good date. I just want to test that the test fails because I don't get a failure. Yeah. Not true. String contains blah, blah, blah. Good. Okay. And what's the log on that then? Yeah. Good. The begin didn't happen. So the begin happened and I didn't expect it. Okay. That's good. Okay, so I think that's all the basic um, failure conditions I want to test on add measurement just now. Um, so we can save that off. Right, one quick little test, make sure it's okay again. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> yes, don't commit that. Take off that minus. Okay, if I make a test, it should be short and sweet. Okay. Good. Okay. We have uh, test. That's all I wanted to do today is just finish off the um, testing of that measurement. Um, and as it's a Monday, I have lots of stuff to do for work, some prep and stuff. So before I've got some meetings. Um, so that's me um, until tomorrow. Um, so take care.